Hello, I'm Dr. Dee Fenner. Today I will talk with you about how you can take an active part in preventing infections after your surgery. Whether your surgery is planned or unplanned, at University of Michigan Health, we are committed to providing a safe environment for your surgery. We know surgical site infections are a risk that can threaten the health of patients undergoing surgery. But these infections can be prevented, and it starts with you, even before the first incision or cut is made. This guide will walk you through how to actively prevent infections before and after your surgery. Heading into surgery, your well-being is very important. To start off strong, talk with your doctor to ensure you are as healthy as possible before surgery. Quitting smoking or vaping before your surgery is essential to help your recovery afterward. Not smoking can improve blood flow, decrease the chances of complications, and support better wound healing. If you smoke, talk with your doctor about quitting programs and strategies. It's recommended to quit smoking at least four to six weeks before your surgery. Starting a fitness routine is another proactive step you can take. Regular exercise can strengthen your immune system and improve your body's ability to heal. Talk with your healthcare provider about which activities are safe for you to do before surgery. If you have diabetes or high blood sugar, called glucose, it's especially important to manage glucose levels both before and after surgery. High blood glucose can slow down healing and increase the risk of infection. Work with your healthcare team to develop a plan to keep your glucose at healthy levels around the time of your surgery. By taking these steps, quitting smoking, getting fit, and controlling your blood glucose, you can reduce your risk of infection after surgery and pave the way for a smoother recovery and better overall health outcomes. One of the most important things you can do to help prevent a surgical site infection is to properly clean yourself before surgery. This starts with showering. We recommend that you take a shower or bath with a liquid or new bar of antibacterial soap within 12 hours of surgery. Soap to use could be Hibiclins or one recommended specifically by your provider. Follow these steps. Step one, after washing your hair, get a clean new soft washcloth. Don't use an old rough loofah. Step two, apply antibacterial soap to the washcloth. Step three, wash your body from top to bottom, starting at your neck and ending at your feet. Be careful not to scrub the areas where you're having surgery too harshly. Step four, if you're using a medicated soap with CHG, step out of the water stream to let the soap stay on your body for at least three minutes before rinsing. Step five, rinse your body thoroughly to remove all the soap on your skin. And step six, Pat yourself dry with a clean towel. When washing yourself in the shower, remember to focus on the areas where germs naturally gather, such as armpits, groin, and the area around your future surgery site, being careful not to irritate your skin. Avoid using lotions, deodorants, powders, or perfumes after you shower as these can increase the risk of infection. And although it may seem helpful, do not shave any part of your body near the surgery site before your surgery. Shaving can cause tiny cuts in the skin where germs can enter and increase the risk of infection. If you need to have hair removed for surgery, your team will do this at the hospital, using special clippers that minimize skin irritation. Your doctor may give you more bathing and cleaning instructions to follow at home as well. If you have any questions about showering before your surgery, please feel free to ask. It's a simple but important step to reducing your risk of infection. Now that we've covered preparing your body for surgery by showering, let's talk about preparing your home. It's important to make sure your home environment is clean to minimize the risk of infection before and after surgery. Make sure you have clean linens on your bed the night before surgery and that clean towels are ready for you when you come home. This reduces the chance of contact with germs that can cause an infection. Remember to keep pets off your clean linens and away from your surgical site. And finally, Remember to wear clean clothing that covers your body. Loose-fitting and comfortable clothes are best to reduce any pressure on the future surgery site. 
By following these simple steps, you can ensure that you come home from surgery to a clean and comfortable environment. After surgery, your work to prevent infection continues. Before leaving the hospital, we will give you instructions on how to care for your wound dressings and drains, what activities to avoid and when to call your doctor. This will include information on the signs and symptoms of infection. Remember to keep your surgical dressings and any drains dry. Getting them wet can expose them to germs and lead to infection. Avoid showering, bathing, or submerging the open wound in water like swimming pools, lakes, or hot tubs until your healthcare provider says it's okay. To clean yourself, take sponge baths using a new clean washcloth. Keep dressings and the skin around them dry. If you have drains left in place after your surgery, they will need special care. Ask your doctor how to best care for your drain. Remember that your hands can spread germs. Be sure to clean them with soap and water immediately before and after performing any wound care. When you wash your hands, form a good lather with the soap for at least 15 seconds. Pay special attention to cleaning your fingertips and fingernails. Rinse your hands well and dry them using a clean towel. Always watch for signs and symptoms of infection after surgery. These include, but are not limited to fever, swelling, or redness at the surgery site, vomiting, strong pain, bad smell, or colored leaking fluid. Call your doctor with any concerns and know when you should get immediate medical help. Together, patients and healthcare providers can greatly reduce infection risk. Your commitment to these preventive actions makes for not only a safer surgery experience, but also a faster, more comfortable recovery. Remember, your health and safety are our top priorities. Stay informed and stay healthy. Together, we can achieve the best outcomes. Together, we're stronger against infections.